welcome to the first video in learning to code with MQL4. Um, it's going to have quite a few videos in this series. It's going to be an ongoing series on uh, creating scripts, custom indicators, EAs. Uh, we're going to do a lot of projects in this playlist here. Uh, the first few videos are going to be the basics, just getting some of the basics out of the way, such as writing functions, uh, what the different data types are, um, going over the template of a script, the template of a custom indicator, and the template of um, an expert advisors, uh, just going over the different sections. Uh, and then uh, once that's done, we can get into some projects. I'm also going to do code snippet videos um, where I'm going to show you guys how to tell if an indicator repaints. Uh, and if it does, maybe stay away from creating a custom EA based on that specific indicator. Um, because uh, if you're creating expert advisors on an indicator that repaints, you're going to come back to your chart and uh, it's going to show you that you've been in a trade, but on the chart, you're going to not see any arrows or indications of why that trade um, took took place. And that's because the indicator most likely repainted. So uh, we'll go over that. It's a very helpful uh, function and that should be run any time on any indicator that you're thinking about turning into an EA. So um, that'll be a really beneficial video. Um, some of the other stuff so is going to be uh, running some scripts just to test the functionality of a function or a little code snippet that you're getting ready to write for a EA or custom indicator. Uh, so we'll go over that as well. And um, let's just go over an example here of a script. You can see that we commented up here, by condition met. Uh, we also got an alert here that the by condition was met. We can click OK. And then down below here, if we look in the Experts tab, uh, you can see that the uh, alerted a by condition was met. So if we go over into the editor, uh, when you're in your MetaTrader platform, I'm assuming you've already got your Forex broker set up and uh, you have the platform um, open. To get into your editor, you can hit F4 or you can go up into the toolbar here and click on the MetaQuotes language editor right here. So we'll click on this and you can toggle back and forth from the um, editor to your actual platform just by hitting F4. Okay, and now this is the basic script that I just ran. And you can see that we have, have a basic comment here, by condition met, uh, a print function, um, by condition met, and this print function is what printed down in the terminal under the experts tab. Uh, and then we've got our alert here. Okay, so a couple of the things uh, that we're gonna be using quite a bit, uh, and that's just the basic script there. Um, so let's head back over to the platform, and I'll give you an indic. Uh, I'll show you here a example of a custom indicator. Okay, a lot of inputs here. Hit OK, and then it just will do some buy and sell signals, um, alert you. Whatever you want to set up in your custom indicator, uh, you can do that with there. So let's get rid of the custom indicator here. And I'll just show you a couple examples of some of the EAs that we're going to do. Okay, let's look at the trade management. Okay, so we'll build something similar to this um, based on some 1%, 2% uh, risk management, um, setting a stop loss, you know, set the lot size, okay, doing some message boxes. Um, so we'll do some functionality like this. And uh, we'll also create some custom scanners. And uh, we're gonna open this up on a new tab here. And these are some of the things that we're gonna be creating here. Okay, a little alert there to get, a, get us on the right time frame. And we can get rid of this indicator. That's just the blue bars there. So some uh, 
one of the scanners that we're going to be creating here. Uh, we can turn off all these columns if we want. Uh, and then we've got the daily and the weekly. So we'll create something similar to this. You've got your menu bar. Turn on the one hour. You can click on this and it'll take you to the one hour chart um, if you want to trade that uh, chart based on the scanner here. So um, we can close that down. And uh, I'll show you this here, the four hour. We can click on one of these and have a look. It'll take you over to the four hour. So uh, we're gonna create something similar. One of the bigger pod projects is gonna be something like this. Uh, we're gonna create a lot of um, EAs and uh, I'll show you the EA that I have created here. Um, we'll do some basic EAs to start and then we'll get into a little bit more complex EAs as well. So uh, also you guys can comment down below as I'm doing these videos and let me know if there's anything specific that you want to see, uh, maybe a functionality of uh, of something that you'd, you'd like to be able to create yourself, but you needed uh, to see it in action and uh, you want a tutorial based on that. So you guys can comment down below. Uh, let me know if there's anything specific that you want to see. And uh, if there is, I'll look at creating a video for it or little code snippets. Um, but I'll teach you guys how to take pictures, add images to the charts. Um, just some fun stuff that we'll do here over uh, the next while it's going to be an ongoing um tutorial series anyways so i'll keep you guys posted and uh, i'll get busy on creating some of these videos